Well, we're proud to be able to tell you the story of one of the great companies in our Western way of life, our equine way of life, our cattle way of life, our livestock way of life, our animal way of life, if you will. I'm talking about our friends from Purina. And as we uh, have the opportunity this afternoon on Western Sports Roundup, we uh, share some great news from Purina with you today. And I'm pleased to welcome Dr. Karen Davison, PhD, nutritionist, equine technical solutions, the director of that program, animal nutritionist, and I might say Western Sports Roundup fan, because your son's a pretty good team roper. Absolutely. I'm, I'm normally an avid viewer of the program. It's fun to be on this side of the camera for a change. Yeah, your son Cole Davis, the national finalist uh, two or three times. Two times, um, yes. Yeah. And so let's talk about what Purina is up to. And we're going to talk about the product in front of you there in just a moment. But the topic of the day is omega fatty acids. And when you started, we started talking about this, it triggered all kinds of thoughts with me. Because this is not something that a horse's body readily manufactures, right? So they need some help? Absolutely. There's lots of nutrients out there and there's some nutrients that we call essential and some of these fatty acids are essential fatty acids and what that means is that the body needs them but they can't manufacture them so we have to make sure they're provided in the diet. And horses naturally get some omega-3s from green pasture. All right. Not every horse is on green pasture. A lot of horses, especially with the busy show season, rodeo season, whatever, they're spending more time in a trailer than they are in a green pasture. What is Neutrina doing to help? Let's talk about a couple of products. Well, at Purina, we have done some research to see if we could figure out, you know, I think most horse owners understand there's a lot of goodness in green pasture. And trying to figure out what nutrients could we find in green pasture that may be is not readily available when you when you harvest that forage for, for hay. And so there's nutrients like omega-3 fatty acids and antioxidants that are really plentiful in green pasture, but when you cut it as hay, they dissipate really quickly. So we're taking a look at some pictures and um, horses in green pasture, the way that we'd all like to visualize them running and enjoying life. Uh, but let's turn our attention to the product that's right in front of you. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about something called Omega Match. And there are two different versions of this. Talk about that. Correct. And the, the name Omega Match came from we were trying to match the omega fatty acids available in pasture. And the ahi flower oil is one product in that lineup. And then we have a feed called Omega Match Ration Balancing Feed. And the feed is really handy. It's a very low volume feed. You feed two pounds a day of the Omega Match Ration Balancer and it causes a horse to have physiology and blood levels very similar to horses that are out on green pasture hmm. all the time. So that was a really cool finding for us as a scientist that made me you know, really perk my ears up, but as a horse owner to watch the value and see the benefits in the horses themselves, it was really fun to see. So, okay, so we talk about green pasture, we talk about helping and supplementing. If, the, if your horses are out on green pasture, do they still need the help? It depends on what you call green pasture, you know, and some of us look out there and we see green and it's not always good green grass. And for a lot of us, the pasture is more of a place to hang out and, and nibble around, but not really actually grazing. So yeah, if you have lush green pasture and you're not doing a lot with your horse, you're probably in pretty good shape. Add some mineral and some salt and you're probably pretty well covered. But if your pasture is kind of somewhere to hang out or your horse spends a lot of time in a trailer, or if you think about what we get when we have winter pasture, then the omegas are something we need to pay attention to. Does the feed content in pasture change seasonally? And my example would be we're in Texas on May the 6th. We just got done having a whole bunch of rain. Um, all the grass around my place has gone poof. I mean, it's just popped right up. But in August, it's gonna be 103 degrees outside and the grass might look a little different. Yeah, absolutely. And we always encourage horse owners to pay attention to those changes because for some horses, those changes can cause some challenges. So if you have some of those overweight kind of metabolic horses that when you get on really lush green pasture, um, they overdo sugars and overdo calories. And so, yeah, there's definitely differences seasonally. When, when you were creating Omega Match and Omega Match Eye Flower, um, did you have a specific type of horse in mind? For example, your son's a team roper. Were you thinking about um, performance horses, rope horse? What were you thinking? Well, we were originally just trying to figure out how would we deliver the, some of the goodness in green pasture um, for horses who didn't get access to it all the time. And so 
we, it's kind of multiple things going on at one time. We were looking to try to develop a product, because there's horses out there with a lot of ingredient sensitivities, so we were trying to develop a product that was, didn't have any soy, corn, wheat, oats, or bar, uh, molasses, or alfalfa, and we were trying to, to create a product that those horses could tolerate that met all their nutritional needs. And so with the ahi flour oil, you can add that to any ration, and it gives you the benefits, the really high value fatty acids that you find in like fish oil. Right. Where we, most of us know horses don't really like fish oil, and other plant-based oils don't have those same fatty acids. So the ahi flour oil is very unique in that it has those really beneficial high value fatty acids. Where can folks go to find out more? We, any of our Purina, local Purina dealers, they're always happy to help. And then we have a lot of good information on purinamills.com backslash the mega match. So lots of information on our website as well. I hope you enjoyed your time on this side of the camera. Absolutely. I look forward to watching all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Karen Davison, uh, PhD uh, from Purina. And we'll talk a lot about Purina, and that's the Omega Match. I, want, I think I said it wrong earlier. Ahi flour, right? Ahi flour. Ahi flour uh, that uh, Karen has in front of her. You can get all the details um, if you check out the website, PurinaMills.com.